Hello everyone, in this episode I'm going to talk about how you can use JavaScript isolation in Blazor applications. A couple of episodes ago I made a video on how you can download file in Blazor applications. For that I wrote a JavaScript function and then I added that JavaScript file reference in my index.html file. If I was using Blazor server application I would add this reference in host.cshtml. Then I injected JavaScript runtime and then called this method to download file from a Razor component. I had to add the JavaScript reference in my index.html file. That means this JavaScript file will get loaded initially when the application gets loaded. Now my file is small, but if you were using a big JavaScript file, you don't want to load this initially. You want to load this whenever you need that JavaScript file. And that's what JavaScript isolation is. You can import your JavaScript files in your Razor component on a button click whenever you need that file. You have to declare your function as export so that you could import these functions in Razor component and you can call these functions. So let's go ahead and make some changes in our application and load our JavaScript files whenever we need them instead of loading them initially whenever our application gets loaded. A couple of episodes ago, we were able to download profile picture for John Smith on our machine. For that, I used JavaScript function, which is located in my root folder. If I go to root folder, open my JS folder in which I have declared this JavaScript file, which has this function, which helps us download the profile pictures. Now I need to add this JavaScript reference in index.html file, which is already added. And then if I go to my Razor component from where I'm downloading the file, I'm first injecting JavaScript runtime in my Razor component. And then I am calling invoke void async to download file from my Razor component. So if I go to my developer tools here, you can see that JavaScript folder being loaded in my application. Even if I refresh my application, that JavaScript folder gets loaded because it's mentioned in index.html file. Now, I don't want to load this JavaScript file when application gets loaded. I want to load this JavaScript file when I click on this download profile picture. For that, First thing that we need to do is to set this JavaScript function as export function so that we could import in our Razor component. And then we're going to remove the reference of this JavaScript file from our index.html file so that it does not get loaded whenever application gets loaded. Now we need to import that file in our Razor component. For that, we are going to need JavaScript runtime. So I'm going to duplicate this line and here instead of returning nothing, I would like to return IHS object reference, which is going to call import. And here I'm going to mention the path of JavaScript file that I would like to load in my Razor component, which is going to be in root folder where we have JS folder in which I have site.js. Now this file will get loaded whenever you click on download profile picture. But we do need to get this object reference in a module. We cannot declare that module here. And then use this module to call that download file which is in the file. So I'm going to use this module to invoke that download file method in my Razor component. Now let's go back and then see if the JavaScript file gets loaded or not. Now, whenever my application is getting loaded, I don't have that JavaScript folder in my resources anymore. And now I'm going to click on download profile picture and then that JavaScript folder gets loaded in my application and the file gets downloaded in my machine. So this is how you can use JavaScript isolation to load your JavaScript files later on in your Razor component instead of loading those files whenever your application gets loaded. 
If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.